the, the goopity goops are. I wonder if there's like deeper levels to these, because yeah, that's that's a spooky spooky door right there. Probably affiliated with the Kraken. Whatever is creating those tentacles. It also also belches out a viscous ink. Can you really get all those items? Yep. But it's uh, it's gonna. You take have a to get them one effort. at a time. Oh no! I wish you just grabbed the whole lot. I know. That's what I was hoping. Who's the other game that had dungeons like this that we played recently? That I was super unenthused with the dungeons. What do you mean by unenthused? I don't know. Like, I feel like we've been playing a lot of games with kind of a... a Zelda-esque vibe lately. Well, the thing is, the Zelda formula was go to a new location, there's trouble, there's a particular monster that's dwelling within a dungeon, that's wreaking havoc. You need to put it down. You go through the dungeon. The dungeon definitely has a theme. You know, the forest temple, the fire temple, the water temple. And you usually acquire a new special weapon that allows you to bring it. You know, you can bring it into the overworld and get to a number of locations and open particular chests and pathways that you didn't have access to before. But that with the new weapon, you fight a boss bet. Well, you, you encounter the boss and you fight a boss battle in which that weapon is required for the mechanics of the fight. And yay, you solve that portion of the world's problems. But then you also receive a trinket or something that can be used along with all the other ones from the temple. So. In, in the case of Ocarina of Time, it was the the sage medallions and, you know, saving the sages. But, you know, there's pieces to something that you need to assemble and you can only do so by defeating every single temple. Wasn't it in Majora's Mask that there were mask pieces? I th think so. You gotta remember, I never really played it. I guess I did that uh, one. No, you got a lot of masks, but... I, like, kind of played it on an emulator, I think, when we were in Croatia, just idly. We were just sitting around. It was weird. They really re need to re-release them. Yeah. Because Nintendo 64 games... I mean, imagine all the nostalgia that they evoke in people in our generation. But then also the fact that they were ported, but to the 3DS. And at this point, the DS is, for all intents and purposes, extinct. Maybe they still make them, but I don't see them creating a new one. Because the Switch is not much larger than a DS. Yeah. And it's its own system. So I don't really think they have a, a need to continue making 3DSs. And I don't even know if the 3D gimmick really lasted. No. You could kind of tell they were moving away from it. Uh-huh. Um. Well, also, have 3D movies, for the large part, been canned? Uh, you know, that's an interesting question. Lately? Absolutely. And I would also... I remember when people were saying, Oh, you're going to start seeing 3D televisions in the future. I mean, they're a thing. They're a thing, but I... I don't know. I always thought that the technology was interesting, and it definitely makes sense for movies in which 3D was taken into account during the, the layout and the cinematography. 
because, you know, that you have characters intentionally reaching out. You have projectiles and things that are intended to pass through the space near you and make it feel like as though you're in that space. But, yeah, some of the earliest ones was what? Creature from the Black Lagoon was made for 3D. I thought that was interesting way back in the day. Was that the 1940s or was it the early 50s? I'd have to look back. But I remember it being amazing when what Avatar yeah. came out, the James Cameron one. But I remember seeing Avatar later, granted, you know, it wasn't 3D or IMAX or anything. It was on my television at home, which I think it was a, like a 46 inch screen or something. But it was less impressive and it felt literally flat, but I think it was in part because I had remembered how thrilling it was seeing it in 3D for the first time. However, I've noticed, I remember when we had, back when we used to go to movie theaters, and when given the option to choose, hey, you know, do you want to go to the 3D version or the 2D version? More often than not, we were perfectly fine with the 2D version. It was slightly cheaper. Yeah, it would save us a and, couple of bucks. Yeah, it would save us a couple of bucks, but then also, you wouldn't have to worry about wearing those glasses and giving yourselves a headache. Oh, look, see, it is a tentacle monster. It almost looks like a whale octopus. Octopihi. Octopihi? I wonder how you're supposed to pronounce it. Oh, boy. Homing ink orbs. Oh, that's how you damage him with his own bubbles. Yep. Oh, oh, can you smack him in the face now? Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. He's stunned. Ah, his hat is getting more and more damaged as time goes yep. on. This is genuinely a lot easier than the bookworm. Well, it's because the projectiles he's sending out are fairly slow, and you're supposed to use them as your attack. So you actually... Got him. Oh, look at that. Summer Savior. That's the achievement. Is that Woody? That's Woody. He's a fish with legs. A greenling? And the water log? Thank goodness you've come. That foul beast has had me trapped down here for the better part of this week. Luckily, sea folk are able to drink seawater. I'd be fish bones if it weren't for you, my hero. Yippee, I'm finally getting out of here. I miss home. <laughs> what the heck? I mean... You've seen those renditions of merfolk where they go, hmm, well, what if it's the opposite? What if it's the other way around? <laughs> if it was the... Human legs and... Human legs fish and the fish head. Well, that's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey. Extra mind, HP, and max stamina. What do you think made people, at least when they made their chimera mythological creatures back in the day. Why was it so popular to just slap another animal as the legs onto a human? I don't know. Easier? Maybe it's so that they could still retain most of the important features of being human. Though I think being bipedal is ex immensely important, but maybe they attributed intelligence and the ability to act on that intelligence with your, I mean, obviously human senses and your face, but then also hands, you know, opposable thumbs and fingers and whatnot. 
Mm -hmm. Just to maintain the human appearance. I suppose the legs take them or leave them. Yeah. And if you want to create a animal hybrid, just... Oh, yeah, you want humans that live in the water? Give them a fish tail. You want humans that can run as swiftly as the wind and... You know, you don't even need a, a horse for a mount. Make them half horse. Want them to be able to fly? Give them either insect or avian wings. I don't know. Just interesting things of that nature. Ooh, Concord is learning to thrive in the midst of danger. You know, there are probably hundreds of grape varieties. Probably. And apparently, like, like going back to the topic of apples, there's 7,500, give or take. Wait, you looked up how many apples there nah, were? No, I was watching a video on it. You're watching a video on apples? Yep. Okay. Really? 7,000? Yeah. Apparently a third of those are in the U.S. Really? Yep. It must, I mean, they must be the special cross, breeds. We've and... been crossbreeding and doing wild stuff with mm -hmm. apples for pretty much all of American history, so it shouldn't surprise that much. Wait a minute. What's up? I... Yeah. I was just thinking of fruits and... Yeah. Were there... There were apples in Europe, right? It had to have been. Okay. I'm just wondering, perpetually, what plants are native and, you know, were cultivated in their native, ha native habitats and regions of the world, and how many of them were brought through settlement and colonization? Because obviously, corn native to the Americas. Yeah wouldn't have been in Europe or elsewhere. I don't know. Yeah, it would just be interesting to look into the origins of many fruits and vegetables. I I have a feeling grapes would have been imported. Grapes just seem to be the very Italian? Mediterranean. Yeah. Uh, don't. Let's not talk about Mediterranean food. Oh. I know you've been jonesing for Indian, but I, I want some more gyros. Oh yeah. I mean. Well, now we have salad materials and feta cheese. I know, but that's not a gyro. But I go for a salad right about now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's extra run speed. Maybe that's good. How many oh. photographs can you have at a time? Only three? Uh, I can go up to nine. But we mm. have to get there. Mm-hmm. There we go. Well, that was a productive day-night. Whatever. Now I want a salad. Oh, look at that! You done a lot of building? Oh, uh, an amount. Unfortunately, the town leveling up is entirely based on, uh, town leveling up is entirely based on tasks as opposed to, like, how, what I have built. Alright. Let's see. Lily Landing. Yeah, so a few shelled rots have taken up residence in Lily Landing, and safety rails around the outpost. No, Don't you need to Lily. talk to Saguaro? Which one's Lily Landing? Oh, Lily Landing. Yeah. I just like to get the chores done at the beginning of the day, so I don't have to mm. think about them. Mm -hmm. And then... 
How about you? Oh, ho! I wanted you to rub my foot. I Not was. tickle it. You're just extraordinarily ticklish on the underside of your feet. Mm-hmm. Eh, no. Oops. No what? Oh, well, that works. I thought that <laughs> I, I thought that I tickled your knee somehow, no, you and I went, yes, I found a weakness. You will not find a weakness in me. <laughs> Seems like I get the ability to swim later or something. Then are you just have to fish? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Well, there are those. Maybe I just have to get it with uh with a fishing rod at a distance. Well, the thing is, there are spots I with lines. I guess I should be doing that anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Oh no. This is painful. No. Nope. I'm just imagining the hook very slowly plinking away at the, the sand. sand. Stone. I just know I'm specifically supposed to grab, like, 15 items uh, on land using the dowsing rod. And, uh, yeah, I should probably get cracking on that. Even if it is heinously slow. There we go. Never mind. We're done. Okay. Where is I? Wait, we're already done with the tasks? Uh, no, just that achievement. Ah. Uh. We're done with one of them. I was actually going to comment. We kind of cheesed it. Hmm. Uh, the one up in the, the lily landing, you're supposed to get rid of the shelled slimes. Yeah. So I took their shells off and then ended up leaving uh, by accident. But it still counted. As... It still counted because they didn't have shells anymore. <laughs> I ain't going to complain. Oh, wow. Picked up a lot of money there. That's kind of nice. And I don't remember what our other task was. Oh, a bunch of succulents, apparently. I've been hoarding this stuff thinking I'd need more. Mm -hmm. But I guess I was wrong. Well, uh, let's go see Cigaro. Ciguaro. 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 Probably a type of cactus. Oh, right. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I think, uh,. I don't remember. Barrel cactus or oh, it's sandstone blocks. Oh, like I said, good thing I just hoard this. Could be stuff. one of the large cactuses that are known to stand alone and live for I hundreds so. of years. I think they're the ridiculously like tall ones. Mm -hmm. Not the barrel cactus, but whatever. Thank you for rescuing Woody from the waterlogged concord. Yo, you were great, Dad, all of us, and yet I still must ask for one more thing. Lily Pot and the Outpost want to reconnect with the Hamlet. We don't have much to offer right now, but perhaps in the future we could flourish together. Maybe, with some like you, the Outpost can still fulfill its purpose as a new home for Guardians. I want you to think of the Summer Bar as another home. And should you ever come back, we'll treat you as warmly as one of our own. These sands are undoubtedly shaped in your image, young Guardian. I'm loath to admit that you've stayed here far too long already, and I'm sure Elderberry is worried. Your quest lies there, fellow Greenling. I wish you and Fuji a safe journey back home. Yeah, the one thing is I still want to level up all these towns to unlock more, like, tool upgrades. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, we've got to get Hammer to level 3 on both of those. Oh, wow. Yeah, I... There's probably going to be a, a point in time, maybe before we go to the next town, where I just bounce back and forth between this town and the hamlet. You just grind missions and stuff. Yeah. I might even just do that off camera. Mm -hmm. uh, just because. Uh, just get a bunch of those, those I mean, quick tasks done. Then we wouldn't have to continue exhausting all these food topics. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, look, it's Woody. Ah! Concord, I still haven't properly thanked you for your bravery in the waterlog. Had it not been for your might, I might still be in the maw of that great beast. Who knew that the hamlet would contain such warriors of small stature yet potent power? Not me! 
I've seen how Fuji reacts to rot. But your poor little friend sat at the bottom of the water log. They sat up here cleaning after the oozes. I can't help it. I'm a builder, not a fighter. We architects are tender, humble people. It's true, it's true. Okay, and can't even talk to her. Well, it's okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably go out of my way to just do some chores one of these days. Maybe I'll record it. Maybe I'll do it kind of my, uh, my like, pseudo-new editing style where I, uh, I play it and then I just say a couple of words here and there if something interesting actually happens. I've been enjoying that as just kind of like a, hey, I can record a thing without actually, like, recording constantly. Wait, that can be how a did Fuji get ahead of us? You fast. <laughs> I'm going to miss the summer bar. But our work has only begun, Concord. I'll meet you in Spring Hamlet. Concord! Uh, oh, yeah, it is Elderberry. Fuji told me you'd be coming back. I can wrangle Rana, but it looks like we're both just in time to meet you. Am I sure glad to see you? I've had my work cut out for me since you left. Thank you for bringing Fuji back, though it did take quite a while. Hmm? But beyond that, the outpost has reopened the trade route between us. How's everyone in Lilliput doing? Stubborn and boring as always, I bet. Not that I'm too worried. Perhaps, Rana, it'd be best if you just went there yourself. I'm sure they're all worried about you. And gift them with my light of life? Perhaps another time. I've got just too much work here to do. Life inland is so much more eventful. Rana, ever the fool. Not that you ever have a shortage of work in the hamlet. Lily Putt Frogs have always been a resourceful bunch. I'm sure they'll do fine. Fuji is already at the Crossroads Workshop planning our next move, and they include you. And good timing. There's also a party from Winterglade visiting. I'm sure you'll want to see plumbers with them. But Fuji has the details. You will have to help them out first. Hey, but you know what? We got some new fishing spots. I have no <laughs> idea if they're actually new, if it's the same resources as usual. I mean, we well, got a bounce. That's not unexpected. Mm. A rock. I am somewhat disappointed. Oh, you're... Yeah? There's a spot over there. Now, do those respawn? Or once they're gone, they're gone? They're a daily thing. Almost everything is daily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was hoping for more than that. There we go. I know you're getting tired. We're almost done. Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking, yeah, the one statue's up on the left. In town, though. Okay. We can find it. Yeah, we can hit it as we go by. Let's see, I just have to... Get through the forest. You know what? I don't even need to fight that guy. Yeah, there's like a couple of things. Everyone is stirring in new ways. I can hear the rumbling of the pits of the library. There it goes again. Will it ever feel safe again? Yeah, it's the same deal. Wait, but I thought that we already dealt with the book. The bookworm. There's more. Ow. Yeah. There's, no, this is the library. Yeah, but keep going left and go up. Left. Okay. Keep going left. I mean, I suppose Fuji's going to interrupt then. Ah, the soft grasses of Spring Hamlet. It feels different returning this time. I prefer the salty breeze of the summer bar, but I don't really know why I'm coming back. An architect's work is important. And I'm going to do my best to keep the hamlet safe for everybody. Our connections with each town have eroded as of late, but Woody passed me some ideas. With the schematics be formed, we can head northwest, or should I say up? To Autumn Town, of course. The only town literally above the other ones. 
not to mention their uppity attitude. What's left of the town is still a far ways up the grove, so we'll have to make use of the old lift. If you're wondering where the rock came from, it's there. Not sure what they originally used them for, but sure bit everyone else a real hard- wait. It sure bit everyone else real hard in the end, as in bite. Yep. Because of that, you can expect some of them to be more touchy about their traditions. Sounds like a lot to do. We'll get it done, don't worry. Now that I am back, I'll be sure to work my hardest. I've cleared some of the way to the Autumn Town, but I'll need some help. Just follow me. But first, deposit junk. Grab chunk. Okay. Uh, let's see. It wasn't down there. No, it was up. Oh, but maybe... No, this is Perennial Plaza. We haven't It's been definitely there. back in town. Ow. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Maybe look up left. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, but I can't get to him. Mm. Or can I? What's going there? Sap. Oh, that's easy. So we, we can, in fact, get it in the morning. We'll have to redo it, but it's okay. Because, yeah, this is what the repair kits are for. Oh, okay. And so she'll, she'll come through and break all that stuff for next time. Wow, those guys are cakewalks now. Oh, and crofts. Hmm. Yep, you did get stuff in the garden jar. And, yeah, I can't attack it because we're right next to Rana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Heard you got to talk to some of the frogs at the summer bar. I hope they didn't bust your chops too much. Did the twins say anything? Ragosa and Dart miss you. A lot. Oh, really? Those two were always okay, I guess. I haven't been back in a while, I have to admit. It was fun filling their heads with stories. I'm bored. That's it. I don't miss them at all. Not like I even go back. I can't even go back. With the Hamlet the way it is? No way. But you've twisted my hand. I mean, I can't just deny a guardian's request. If you really want me to go back, I will. But you gotta make sure the Hamlet can make do without me. So get everything in the Hamlet sorted, and I'll find time to visit, okay? Favor accepted. Ah! Rah! So are you going to go to sleep go. to see if it gets cleared out? I was going to quickly finish, like, two things. There's that, which mm. I'm pretty sure this needs the umbrella. Nope. Oh, what is that? Ah, there you go. Stand up. More stamina. Like I said, there's just a couple of things that I wanted to get done that we haven't been able to do. Mm hmm You're not that sleepy. I am. You are not that sleepy. Yes. No, you're not. Always act super sleepy. In reality, you just want to stop working. Mm. Wow. You go fast. Shell's just giving me this, like, sad look. I'm almost done. Mm -hmm. There's just, like, two or three things. Well, why don't you bring up a topic to okay. converse about? Gosh, I don't know. I, okay. On the topic of, like, house things and food... I don't know if I'd necessarily really 
need a stronger tool. This one. Really? All right. Um. I think that might need the upgraded hammer, considering yeah, it's red. Yeah, it, it's not. It doesn't care. Oh, hey. You know, I just realized though. These are sparkly. Oh, are they? Are they water? Oh no, it's just mint tea leaf. Are you serious? This is just money. Oh no, water, water sprouts, sprout. which we do need in large quantities. Mm -hmm. They just might not be. Wait, so some of them give you mint leaflets, and other ones give you water sp sprouts. Stinky, ain't it? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try for this, but yeah, I I think I'm only gonna be able to get mint leaflets from these things, and if I go back into the dungeon, it's mm -hmm. like I'm not against. Ah, uh, yep, you still got it. Boy, was it a disappointment, though. Another mint one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, if it gave me more money, I think I'd be okay with it. But... That should be one of those rare RNG things of, you know, only one in five fishing instances gets you mm -hmm. a water sprout. Anyway, uh, so, house thing that I would like, kind of no matter what, would actually be a fireplace. Not that I would use it that often. Really? But the question is, would you want it to be a gas or electric fireplace, or would you want it to be a wood one? Though, didn't you do all that research stuff for environmental pro uh, science? Yeah, so I would probably do, like, pellets. wood pellets, which gets rid of, like, carcinogen fears. Oh, a flowstone. Yeah, because I always wondered about... There were times when I visited your folks in the winter and I mean granted because your parents didn't heat the rest of the house the room with the fireplace was the warmest but it also was the one that was hardest on just our ability to breathe yeah I so I, I would never be like my parents with the fireplace constantly going the fireplace would mostly be like a hey uh, it's really cold, and we want to do, like, kind of something, um, cozy and, you know, set a fire. Um. Mm -hmm. Aha. You see, with oh. my family's house, uh, we didn't really use, I suppose when I was little, we would use the fireplace, but my parents weren't really much for getting a lot of firewood and such, they would just get one of those logs that you would light. You know what I'm thinking about? Yeah. The ones that are prepackaged in a specific way so that they burn. I forget what they're called. But then we moved into the house that I spent pretty much the next 20 some years of my life in. It, it was one where they went, eh, we don't really like wood fireplaces. Too much work. Why don't we just get a gas one where you, with the click of a remote, just have it ignite itself. And I admit, I really liked that. It wouldn't radiate as much heat, but it was... I, I suppose it's more for show. Yeah. If you know what I it's mean. a cosmetic thing. We had we had fireplaces like that in California. It was impossible to find a wood burning fireplace, but every house had a decorative gas fireplace for some reason. And <laughs> the previous owners of the house that we lived in uh, stole the key to it for whatever reason. It took them like half a year to give it back. Wait, what? Yeah, it was really weird. The key to the fireplace? Yeah, you had to have like a little key thing so you couldn't just turn on the the gas accidentally. Oh, like a specialized right. You don't want to blow up your entire house. Yeah. And so uh, it took like multiple months for them to finally like get us the key. We also had like serious mold issues like a lot of other problems. I'm actually, in retrospect, really surprised my parents agreed to move into that house. Mm -hmm. It was a lovely house, but there were a lot of issues from those previous... Uh, Owners. The interesting thing is that the uh, the previous owner's sons uh, bullied my brother and I. I'm not gonna say pretty relentlessly, but they were they were really frustrating to deal with. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Oh. 
finished with the fishing. Yep. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to revisit the statue next time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could do... I could just do chores on my own. Uh, hop. What's hop get me? Dazzling reticle will auto him if there's an enemy in front of you. Ooh. And control the knockback direction of the dazzling rod and do more damage. Those are pretty good. I will consider them. But I like the statistic... Statistical bonuses. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Level two. Oh, so yeah. close to three. I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding. Oh. Another town helped. Seems like each time I blink. Wait, the tree can blink? Or is this supposed to be a, narr a different narrator? I don't know. A whole new chapter of life blossoms for the people of the grove. Just as mine comes to a close. All in due time. For now, you've grown quite formidable. My time of need for someone like you draws ever closer. Grow a bit more, my precious little sprout. Oh, look! Are the rocks gone? Yep. Yes! Here lies Cayenne. The Aegis Guardian, or Aegis Guardian. I like saying Aegis more than Aegis, but I know one... Aegis Guardian. Eternal Protectorate of the Grove. The scripture is hard to read, but describes a passionate shield-wielding guardian of yore. Weird opening my mailbox mm -hmm. with a fishing rod. Okay. Wait, what? All right. I don't want to sleep, but I do want to take a look at Cayenne's abilities. So extra max HP, reduce stamina. Getting hurt is a chance to grant protection. Hmm. If a shield is equipped. Oh, have you have you ever used a shield? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, the early levels you had. I suppose I'm just. So used to seeing you flinging your fishing rod at people. I've forgotten that you fight with a sword. You fight with an umbrella now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Which I suppose would be the iridescent guardian blues. Yeah. Ability. But this is the shield. I use it uh, to smack things. Yep. Not infrequently. Okay. Well, you wanted to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Sleepy time. So we'll have to remind me to revisit that statue the next time we play. Oh, really? Because it doesn't save until yeah, we sleep? Yeah, it doesn't save until we sleep, but it's okay. Aw. We didn't. It's not like we did anything. 